<laughs> well, from drug buddy owls to the Moby Dick of goldfish, we've got the beastliest stories this week on In Case You Missed It. Oh, well, there is a convenience store chain in Japan that is testing a new product, Keith. You know what it is? No. Tasteless candy. Why would you want tasteless That's candy? Smart. Well, I wouldn't want it, but yeah. somebody in Japan must. And here's the thing. Usually the only tasteless thing at a convenience store is the magazines, yeah. right? But they claim that these hard candies have no flavor at all, and they taste like emptiness. What is the point? Well, they, they say if you're hungry enough, uh, you know, maybe you've had enough emptiness through all this. But the real reason, they say, is that most people eat hard candies just to keep their mouths wet, not because they like sweets, and some of them don't like sweets. Somebody's gotten some bad research is what I think. I, I think you're right. <laughs> I think this is a very bad poll. <laughs> From our Hux criminal mastermind file, police in Payson, Arizona, they arrested a man for DUI, meth possession, and illegal possession of wildlife after they caught him driving while under the influence with an owl, that's right, an owl, sitting in the passenger seat. Uh-huh. He claimed he bought the owl for $100 from some stranger at a gas station who had found the owl injured on the roadside. Uh -huh. Okay? You following me with this yeah. so far? Okay. Yeah. Buying an owl is illegal. <laughs> but he didn't give a hoot. Not at all. <laughs> and the owl's just sitting there going, hoo, hoo. hoo. <laughs> The cop wow. probably rolled his window down and said, who did this? Who? who? <laughs> I guess he figured that 100 bucks for an owl was cheaper than a tank of gas. I don't I would know. I think so, yeah. Anyway, police said his eyes were bulging and his head was spinning 360 degrees. Now, the owl, on the other hand, seemed relatively <laughs> unperturbed. <laughs> but the owl needed rehab, too. Uh, so the owl was taken in by a rescue group named Liberty Wildlife. So that's good. a good ending yeah, to his story. However, this you'll find interesting. The police released a statement warning the public, and I quote, this is the police statement, quote, not to use methamphetamines, or you too may find yourself illegally purchasing a wild owl for $100 in the middle of the night from strangers at a local gas station. <laughs> Have you ever bought an owl at a gas station in the uh, middle of the night? Maybe a parakeet or two. <laughs> okay. <Parakeet? laughs> well, you must not have been very inebriated if no. that's all you got was a parakeet. Well, I would add to the list of dopey things you might do while doped, forgetting your laptop full of incriminating evidence at a computer repair shop. That you, might you be. You would think. Yeah. Wow. That was pretty good. All right, next, a TSA agent at JFK Airport spotted some orange fur sticking out of a checked bag and saw this startling image on the x-ray screen. That right there. Wow. You see that? What is that? Well, the passenger claimed he had no idea how a cat got into his suitcase. <laughs> oh. That is a cat at the top of that suitcase. In fact, he said it wasn't even his cat. Well, of course. Wow. Yeah, likely story. <laughs> but as it turned out, it really was a friend's cat named Smells that had crawled into his bag to take a nap. A TSA spokesman assured concerned cat lovers that they let the cat out of the oh, bag. Oh, yes, I they knew did. it was coming. I knew it was coming. <laughs> Meanwhile, a Fort Lauderdale Airport TSA agent saw another bizarre sight while x-raying a suitcase. It was a gun hidden inside a raw chicken. Okay. Weird, isn't it? That is strange. Yeah, well, this must be what they mean when they say raw chicken can kill you. <laughs> You wonder, did that smuggler really think that x-rays go through suitcases, yeah. but no way would it penetrate a chicken? <laughs> chicken. <laughs> right, it, 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 well, well, it's the gizzard. Don't you know about chicken gizzards? <laughs> I'll, I'll let you know if the TSA finds a suitcase containing a gun hidden inside a chicken that was swallowed by a cat. There you go. <laughs> Start a whole new trend yeah. there. Here's the most favored word that we have in this segment. Finally, <laughs> the photo of the week. Everything is fancier in France, as British angler Andy Hackett can attest. He was fishing at Blue Water Lakes in Champagne, France, when he caught a 67.4-pound goldfish. Oh, my goodness. Now, when they warn you not to overfeed your goldfish, this is kidding. why, right here. They're not kidding. I don't think they may be pregnant. I don't know. Anyway, this giant goldfish is known as the carrot 
was put in the lake 15 years ago to give fishermen something interesting to try for, but nobody caught it until it tipped the scales at nearly 70 pounds, which is kind of frightening when you think about it. In fact, it is so big and so scary and so orange that Democrats want to investigate it. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Yep, they do. By the way, Hackett released the goldfish back into the lake, and there was a reason he didn't take it home. You know why? Why? Because if it died, how would he ever flush that big goldfish down the lake? Well, tank? that's wow. something to think about. Yeah. I wonder what a goldfish tastes like. I'm sure you could ask him, you know, and see if he'd <laughs> maybe share a fillet of it with you. Well, I think that's enough fish stories for now, but until next time, just remember that we read the news. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you will now. The button is just below this video, and there's a little bell next to it. If you click on those, YouTube will reluctantly start letting you know when we've got a new video uploaded.